So this is the first time I've ever bought an Apple product. Not anything within my years of existence. The first time I planned to buy one was around 5 years ago where I inquired an iPad Pro but then the sales told me it doesn't have included pencil, a different charging port than the usual, can't connect an external storage and so on that there's so many things out of the usual and a lot of extra bucks it got me totally off and I never bothered anymore. So what made me decide to buy one after all those years? The 4th gen 12.9 inch 2020 iPad Pro. So why would I buy a 4th gen when the M1 is already out? I bought this iPad Pro for a discounted price with the Apple Pencil for 900 and US dollars. And now I was told it can connect now on USB-C like everything else, can now support an external storage and with the Apple Pencil too. For me, it was an incredible deal so here we are. I'm gonna review this focus more from an artist's point of view. I like the design of the tablet itself and how it feels when you're holding it. It feels real premium and thin. The weight however on this 12.9 is heavier compared to my other tablet which is Tab S6 but not too heavy that hinders purposes and sport building. I also like the thin black strip around the screen compared to the iPad where there are thicker strips on the other two sides which gives the iPad Pro a more full on display. I'd also like to mention that the camera behind the tablet is embossed so when you lay this flat on the surface it will have a slight tilt on the upper right corner so be sure to get a screen protector for both the screen and the back of the camera to avoid scratches on the surface. The screen resolution for the 12.9 inch is 2730 by 2048 pixels and for me it looks real good. This place is bright enough to lit even on daylight so it doesn't overpower your screen. The vibrant colors on the display is really good as well which is best suited for artists and filmmakers. Another thing is like 
even if you tilt the screen you won't see any change on the color giving it more consistent display which is very important especially if you're doing artworks one downside on the screen though it has a very good display in color is that the texture is incredibly smooth which can be a downside if you are very used to draw on surface which has a stroke resistance. One good option for you is to buy a matte screen protector to have that resistance from the pen. However, it can somehow make your screen look a bit frosted and make your screen colors a bit off. But if you prioritize a more natural drawing experience, well, it's an option. But for me, I've adjusted already on drawing like this since all of my previous tablets have smooth screen surfaces. So this is the Apple Pencil 2 and it's one of the main reasons I decided to get an iPad Pro. If you guys plan to use the Apple Pencil 1 for this, it won't actually work since the Apple Pencil 2 attaches and charge magnetically while the Apple Pencil 1 attaches via a lightning port, so that's something to keep in mind.
question is, was it all worth it? Or was it just hype? After hearing all of those glory reviews out there, after using this tablet for around a month now, focused mainly on full blast drawings, high resolution works, 4K, 5K, and up to 8K resolution drawings. The Apple Pencil where everyone says it's so good, it's the best, so accurate and everything. To be honest, yes, it's all worth it and absolutely. I'm looking forward to my next Apple product. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and see you guys on the next video.